guys and welcome to my reaction to the second episode of Black Mirror. The uh, first episode was both brilliant and made me want to throw up. So great. Let's, you know, get into the next one. Let's get started. What on earth am I watching? Thank you. Aw, human interaction. It was beautiful. You'll be in love and all before long. <laughs> Whoa. This is getting fucking wasted. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh What? God. What is this place? It's simple. Oh my god, it's like Downton Abbey, just like all over the place with Black Mirror. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You just met her. I don't know. <laughs> oh That's very sweet. How much does he have left, though? Walking away now. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't entirely know what happens when you get to zero. Oh God, I'm nervous. Aww. The fold's flat. So you can keep them in your waistband. Just like. I'm scared. Like, should I be scared? Maybe I shouldn't be scared. I'm scared. No thanks. Yes thanks. Not like, oh, she's nervous. She might mess up. But like, if she does mess up, they'll like execute her. I'm so nervous. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, she makes me laugh. Right. Let's see what happens. Got this pure beauty. Seems to be a knockout figure. And this sort of interesting innocence going on. And that's something I think Wraith's erotica channels could really play with. Oh god. Absolutely. That's what I thought. The moment I saw it. The moment I watch it. I don't know a man here who wouldn't. To be honest, some of girls might join me. You will never have to pedal again. Not one minute. We could really work with you. They would give anything. Do anything to be where you are now. Am I right? Whoa. You know, Whoa. Well. With all that, as though it's nothing. As so though they're nothing. And that makes me sick. You know what? Maybe you do belong on a bike. Because you don't seem to be very willing to step off it. I do want to. Do we have a decision? Oh, now I feel sick again.
blood. And she's gonna pop up for him. Oh my god. Oh god. What's gonna happen? What's gonna fucking happen? What's gonna fucking happen? Oh my god. He's going to kill some people? He... Uh, what? Please so gonna kill himself. Why would he ride day in, day out, going where? Powering what? All tiny cells and tiny screens and bigger cells and bigger screens and fuck you! Fuck you! That's what boys start doing. Fuck you! Fuck you for sitting there and slowly making things worse. Fuck you in the spotlight and the sanctimonious faces and fuck, fuck, fuck you all for taking the one thing out of a kid close to anything real about anything. For losing around it, crushing it into into a bone, into a joke. One more ugly joke in the kingdom of millions of them. Fuck you! Fuck you for happening. Fuck you for me. For us. For everyone, fuck you! He didn't drink his compliance. Double wardrobe options launched last week alone. Which effectively translates 15,000 new ways to kill time in your cell before you explore an afterlife, which doesn't exist anyway. What with any luck, you'll take your mind off those saddle swords, eh? You know, the only thing stopping me from slashing myself open right now. I might not die right away. And before I went, they find a way to charge my twitching half dead cadaver 20,000 merit. Farewell forever. To the same time next week. absolutely loving this series um so far what I've seen um that was amazing that speech that he gave that actor is amazing um I'm not sure I've seen him in anything before but that was brilliant and I love I loved the spotlight that we had on uh, technology and living through that and what is you know very real and tangible to people and how that is 
probably shifting for a lot of us, but I think that they really obviously put a spotlight on the fact that, you know, you can't really replace human compassion and interaction. Oh, God. But that was, I mean, slightly depressing. But, yeah. I loved it, even though. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!